All right, welcome back to Math with Max. This is part four, I think. Uh, yeah. Today we'll be learning about exponential functions and transformations. All right, first one is a pretty easy one. Y equals four to the X. If you're gonna graph it, hey, yeah, that's implied. But, so, when you're doing an exponential function, you'll notice that it's to the power of x, which is kind of weird. So that just gives you this curve-like thing that you will see in a second. So, it starts tube of zero at this point, and then just go up. So it'll be over one up two because we're multiplying it by four. And then you really only need two points for this kind of graph, but you can do more and it will make it neater. So then we're gonna go down to this point and then it just gets like more and more tiny as we go down. And that's where you kind of just stop paying attention on that side. And this line here where it kind of stops curving is called the asymptote. On the asymptote, the graph or your line will never cross the asymptote, but it will get infinitely close to it. All right, that was a pretty easy one. Let's do another. We're back with uh, another problem here. This one looks a little bit more complex but still not too difficult. So, gotta, gotta draw our axes, as always, with the arrows, as always. Okay. okay, and then on this one, this what this one half will do, this one half will reflect it over the x-axis, will reflect the line over the x-axis, the negative, four will reflect it over the y-axis and then vertical stretch of four. So if our normal graph goes like this, our graph will go like that. All right. So our first point would be at negative five, four, negative four on the, the y-axis. So then one, two, three, four. So down right here, and then it would go that way. I'm gonna kind of go backwards because there's still a lot of room to go back there. So since it's four again, we will go down two over one from here. And then down one over one, and then down a half over one, and then so on, and infinitely small. And it gives us this nice curve. So there you go. Another one for you. This one's a little bit harder. I've got some, some numbers up in the exponent, but still nothing too difficult. Right, so what this little guy up here does is he's gonna make our graph move to the right two. But if it were positive, you go left two. So he just changes left and right direction. So it's two, right? So we're gonna start here, but then x minus two, so we're gonna go right two. And then plus three, so we're gonna go up three. Two, three. And this is going to be our first point. Right there. At two, four. Okay. And then, so, and always this last number is going to be your asymptote. So if it's three, your asymptote is going to be at three. So our asymptote is here. Here. All right, so 
down here is just gonna be like no man's land, kind of dotty, dotty daughter's dense stuff. Okay, so after this two, this this point, I said two. We're gonna go over one and up one. So we always do that. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. Then we're gonna go over one, up two, and so on and so forth. But down here is 0.5, yada yada. And then that's gonna make our graph go like that. The final problem for you here. This is the hardest one we've had. So, get ready, folks. All right, so you see a fraction up front. That's gonna make our graph go from facing like this to going like this. Kind of like, yeah, a negative exponent. That would do the same thing. But, anyways, so, and then since it's to the one third, it's gonna be flipped and then stretched by three. So, she's at negative four, so we know our asymptote is gonna be at negative four. So, dotted line there. Boom, 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 boom. And then, since that's our asymptote, to start at the normal graph spot. Normal graph starts here, right? We're doing one third, so it's gonna go that way. But we have the plus one up there, so it's gonna go left one and then down four. One, two, three, four. So this is the starting, I guess, like origin-esque dot for our graph. And then it's gonna go over one, up two, yes over one up two, over one up one two, and then from there it's gonna go over one up a lot. But we can just leave it at that, you don't need the other point. And then down from there it's gonna go sharply down, and then just like there. So, there's your graph. Not too hard, huh? If you think about it, it's not as hard as you it seems. This has been wait. So in review, we have learned that our plain standard general equation is y equals a times b to the x minus h plus k. And k is, it's up and down, it's the up and downers. h is right and left. And then b is like the, the curve like how curvy or not curvy it is. How steep or not it is. That's a better word. How steep or not it is. And then, so it's like steep or not. And then the A does similar to B. It's just another B. You can put negatives out there. That will reflect things here all over. Right? Reflect things. Reflect things. But so can x. x. Negative x. Reflect. That's what we've learned. So now you can go off and graph your exponentials and your monies and your bacteria and your nuclear waste things exponential. This has been Math with Max part four and we'll see you in number